Hi, everybody, and a very warm, if wet, welcome to Wiltshire for the fifth event of our BRSCC Fiesta Championship, racing with MRF tyres. This is the 2018 Championship, headed at the moment by Harry Gooding, who qualified on pole position once again. Fourth pole position of the season for Harry, with alongside him David Nye on the front row of the grid, Jamie Going and Miles Baker next from Jake Dawson and Tom Hutchins, Ryan Falkenbridge, Danny Harrison uh, ahead of Jamie White, who heads Class D, and Zachary Lucas, Tim Bennett, Luke Bannister, and then Class A, Mark Court and Colin Newbold. So good to see Mark back on track and a Class A battle for sure today. Some brave spectators looking to enjoy the action on predominantly a qualifying day, but they do get the treat of a couple of races. This, of course, a triple header once again for the BRSCC Fiestas with MRF tyres. Back view of the grid, lights on and out. So Harry Gooding on pole position, predominantly blue car with the orange stripes, but it's the orange and blue car of David Nye who gets away. Gooding is down in third place. Jamie Going is up into second. It's a good start. I think Jamie White's been beaten away in Class D, so the defending champion has got work to do, but just look at the spray. This man's got the best view because he's got the wipers on, but he won't be getting that ball of spray that we saw. So David Nye, qualifying second position, made a very good start. And it's Jamie going in second at the moment in white. Harry Gooding busy chasing him at the, at the minute as well. The championship leader is in third. Then it's Tom Hutchins. Gooding's on the offensive, as you would expect. Won't be worried too much about the spray. I can't remember whether Gooding raced here in the wet in juniors or not, but he's having a go. He's got a very good run there. Gooding through into second place. Great move by the championship leader. Here they come, down into tower corner and you can see the field getting stretched out a little bit Zachary Lucas is in, in red the class D car the ZTEC S he's the top runner there and immediately behind him is the championship leader was that Miles Baker straight lining I think it probably was we've got Jake Dawson in the 54 car as well but Zachary Lucas the class D ZTEC S leader at the moment from Jamie White the defending champion 13, Ryan Falkenbridge, race winner at Rockham earlier on in the season. Danny Harrison looking on his inside lines. Here's the view from Danny. Mutation Motorsport Brisky Racing entered machine. Lots of different teams supporting the Fiesta Championship with MRF tyres as ever this year. The likes of Jam Sport 2010, Daniels Motorsport, of course, as well. Jamie Goings now relegated to fourth place because Tom Hutchins has come through. The second DW9 Daniels Motorsport car with the Union flag livery. So Jamie Going, it was really good to see Jamie back up on the top step of the podium at Snetterton. He really seems to gel with that track. I'm not saying he isn't gelling with Castle Coombe because he made a very good start indeed. So Dawson at the minute... Still dicing for position as well, so it looks like he's had a little bit of a biff. And uh, Dawson in seventh place, and he'll see whether he can just get past this pair. Not looking too bad at the moment. The newcomer, as you can see from the yellow square with the black cross, trying to size up the Class D leader at the moment. Quick recap on the order. David Nice still out front, Harry Gooding second. Danny Harrison is in third place. Then Tom Hutchins followed by Jamie Going, Jamie White and Dawson having a look up the inside line. But at the moment, I think, to no avail, avail. But yes, he is now as they come through camp corner. Dawson's got the inside line and looking to make the place. He won't score him any more Class C points, but he does pass the leading Class D car to make up a position and go into sixth place and sets about now trying to close down on Jamie going here is the race leader though David Nye fastest lap back on lap five a 132.4 averaging 72.07 miles per hour here and that comparing with the fastest lap in class D Jamie White 135.33 but David Nye using all his Fiesta experience here has won here before in different classes as we've mentioned but look at this super racing from Jake Dawson, who's all over the back end again. 
of Jamie going. It's a case of deja vu for him, and he's trying to take fifth place. He's in sixth position in class, which will be a best for him, but he wants to go another place further up, and he's turning the car on the inside line, and Jamie going gives him room to be fair. Saw him there. You can see the body language of the car. Watched the inside line, but looked in his mirrors and saw Jake Dawson coming through. Goes through to fifth place. This is going to be Jake Dawson's best finish if he can hold on to it. And I think he's probably made the move at the right time. But here on the last lap is David Nye in the number 12 car, who will take a third win of the season. The defending Class C champion. It's an uphill battle for him to get enough points to be up and uh, challenging, which I think he might be when we get to Brands Hatch at the end of the year. But he's been superb in this race, David Nye, and he leads by over eight seconds from Harry Gooding at the moment. Gooding will protect the championship lead and actually extend the championship lead over Jamie Going here with that second place. And we look back, there's clear track between the two of them, David Nye under no pressure at all, coming through tower corner. Blue flags being waved again as uh, Miles Baker. Is Miles Baker going to be passed by David Knight? We'll wait and see. Knight goes to the outside line and filters through and will take the win. So David Knight in filthy conditions. What a drive we've seen from him. Did all the hard work off the start and he's got he's kept his head down, pulled away, had traffic to deal with as well. So he's had overtaking today. Harry Gooding, the championship leader, coming across the line now to take second place. Danny Harrison, not that far behind him, will complete the podium here at Castle Coombe for the first of three races. Fourth place goes to Tom Hutchins. And then we wait for Jake Dawson to see if he was still ahead of Jamie Going. Well, there is David Knight, our winner. And uh, indeed, Jake Dawson did stay ahead of Jamie Going. It was Nye from Gooding, Harrison Hutchins, Dawson fifth. Jamie Going next up from Class D winner, Jamie White. Zach Lucas second in Class D, then Ryan Falkenbridge and Mark Court. Luke Bannister third in Class D. Colin Newbold next from Miles Baker. Welcome back to Castle Coombe for the BRSCC Fiesta Championship. Racing with MRF tyres and tyres are key because the circuit is still a little bit damp and some last minute decisions being made prior to going out. Pole position to race one winner David Nye, Harry Gooding alongside, then Danny Harrison and Tom Hutchins row two. Jake Dawson with Jamie going on the third row, then Ryan Falkenbridge and Miles Baker. Class D, headed by championship leader Jamie White from Zachary Lucas, then Mark Court and Luke Bannister, Colin Newbold and Tim Bennett completing the grid. Mark Court taking the win in Class A in race number one from Colin Newbold. Newbold in the light blue and orange Class A car, the mid-90s Mark III Fiesta SI. And away we go. You can see that uh, this is going to be a tricky race, but it's David Nye pole position, left of shot. Harry Gooding's made a good start, maybe slightly drier, maybe better reactions from Gooding as well as they go through turn one and head up Avon Rise for the first time. Who's going to emerge in the lead? It looks like Gooding has got the line through Avon Rise and down into and getting turned around. Was there contact there? David Nye's off, bang! Into the tyre barrier. Now, is that going to be a safety car? a lot of damage done. You can see the Arco being revealed by the deranged tyres. And David Nye, who just has not had the rub of the green this year, two non finishes at Brands Hatch in event one, had a 16th place finish at Rockingham Race One. He's been banging away results here and there but a, a superb win in race number one here but it's not to be in race two I don't think it's going to be a safety car the uh, officials might want to consider whether the barrier needs to be put back together as Jake Dawson looks down the inside line of the class D leader in red Zachary Lucas in the red car the green machine of Jamie White is in second Lucas looks on the inside line comes off the dry line to nibble away at the Class C car, so getting stuck in and not afraid to compromise, not afraid to compromise his circuit position 
to get ahead of the sea car and build an advantage over Jamie White in Greenwich chasing. So these two battling for the lead of Class D. Zachary Lucas again, he was uh, fastest away out of the pair in race number one. He's done it again here in race two and with as he gains more racing experience. That will count, but Jamie White here's got uh, the mighty mini racing experience, of course, champion in that formula, and has gone through and a very good run there. Read that well, but Lucas attacking back on the outside line as they come into Quarry and onto Farm Straight. Look at the back end of Lucas's car wanting to break away, but it's Jamie White who leads the class now from Zachary Lucas in the A, B, and D cars. The third machine is the yellow car of Mark Court. You might see with the spots on the bonnet coming into the, the, the back of shot. It's Jamie White out front at the moment. There's Mark Court coming into shot. And David Nye in the mix as well, I think, trying to work his way back through the order. I thought Nye was going to be a retirement here, but he's uh, actually got going again and rejoined. Probably would have been grateful for a safety car or a race stoppage to get him back uh, into position. And the question is, was there contact with Jamie going? He's in very close proximity with, with Jamie. As the cars come down to Camp Corner once again, Ryan Falkenbridge closing in on Jake Dawson in the Class C cars. You can see that drying line, which is really what the drivers have got to stick with. It does make overtaking difficult, although Jamie White managed to pass Zachary Lucas for his run, going out wide to find a little bit more water, maybe by the look of it. Danny Harrison is still the chaser, and importantly for him, ahead of Jamie Going on track, but Going will get the points back on the penalties. I'm reminded of... Uh, one of my colleagues, championship director, who said that when the fixtures are published at the start of the year, all the dates are provisional until the races are run and then the results are provisional. And you do have judicials, but over things like track limits, physicality on track and, and such like. But uh, joking aside, what a race this has been. David Nye still trying to close in. It's still a quartet for the lead with Harrison with a bit of breathing space. Here we come then. So it's Danny Harrison comes out of camp corner and takes the win. Harrison takes the win, the 20 minutes is up and it's Harrison that takes the chequered flag that will get fourth place after the five second penalty. So Gooding the winner from going Hutchins, Harrison in fifth, then David Nye. There is David Nye crossing the line. Jake Dawson in six, Miles Baker will be next up. There across the line is Luke Bannister, 11th overall, third in class D followed by uh, Tim Bennett, who takes fourth position in Class D. And here's the official result, Harry Gooding taking the win. Jamie going next from Tom Hutchins and Danny Harrison, fourth after the penalty, David Nye fifth from Jake Dawson, Miles Baker, Ryan Falkenbridge, then Jamie White winning Class D from Zach Lucas, Luke Bannister and Tim Bennett, Mark Court taking Class A from Colin Newbold. Super second race, and let's hear from the race winners. It was the right choice for the tyres because the track was drying, but um, yeah, really good race, good result, and yeah, looking forward to race three. Yeah, and I guess um, with Danny's penalty, were you aware of that, the five second penalty you had for presumably track limits? Um, no, I've only been aware of it from a couple of minutes ago when um, the team told me, so um, yeah, it's good to have the win, would have nice to have won it on track, but I'm going to take it anyway. Absolutely, and what about tyres, what tyres were you on? Uh, we was on wets that time, um, it's work to start with, it, off the start it was good, but the slicks um, started coming at the end. Yeah. Very well done, so first and a second, so uh, do you think the three out of three podiums? <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Very well done. I said a cracking race, how was it for you? That was hard work. Yeah, we went on wets, the others went on mix, I had slicks on the front, so at the start we knew we had the pace and that they would struggle. So we just had to manage the tyres, both me and Harry, and just stay out there, but they'd catch us on the dry bits, and then it's, you could, we could manage them to a certain degree, but towards the end it was getting really hard. Well done, uh, Tom. How was it for you? Uh, yeah, we made the right choice of the tyres. We um, went six at the front, wets in the back. I got a dodgy start, and from there, really, I managed to catch up with everyone, and it was a good race.
And was the start due to the tyres in effect? Yeah, I was just spun up the wheels and Jamie and Howie were on uh, wet, so they got away much better. But um, it was a really good race, yeah. close so race. What can you do in the uh, final race, do you think? Hopefully another podium would be nice. Um, I think it'll be dry later on, so we'll see what happens. Other class victory for you, second of the weekend, must be very pleased. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah. All going towards championship, so all good. Yeah, any any difficulties out there for you? And relatively easy class win, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think going out on wet was a, a bad call at the start, but you had to do something, and uh, that seemed like the better option at the time. But towards the end, they started to fade away, but we'd pulled a bit of a gap at the start, so they would just back it off a little bit and, you know, just sit it out to the end. Yeah, so I guess you're fairly confident of three, three out of three. We'll see what the weather does. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. That was good. Uh, I had a good battle with the Class D cars out there as well, so that was quite good. Yeah, I guess you find that quite um, pleasurable, don't you, when you're in a sort of different class, but you can still mix it with some of the other uh, perhaps more powerful cars. Yeah, it's always good fun <laughs> to get around them. And Colin started to catch right near the end, so I was a bit worried. But <laughs> yes, he wasn't that far behind, actually, was he, at the end? Um, so do you think it'll be even more of a threat in the final race? Uh, I think it'll be quite close near the end. Welcome back to Castle Coombe, the BRSCC Fiesta Championship racing with MRF tyres. This is race three, pole position with Harry Gooding, race two winner. Jamie Going is alongside, then Tom Hutchins and Danny Harrison, race one winner. David Nye is next to Jake Dawson, then Miles Baker and Ryan Falkenbridge. Jamie White, the leading class D runner, two wins to his credit so far. Zachary Lucas to his outside, then Luke Bannister and Tim Bennett, class A represented by Mark Court, double winner thus far this weekend, and Colin Newbold completing the grid. The track is the best it's looked all weekend. Wet yesterday, drying circuit this morning, and away we go. It's a good start by all on board with Tom Hutchins from third on the grid. Danny Harrison, who had that five-second penalty in race two, looking to get round the outside line but can't do it. They're three wide because David Nye is on the inside line in orange and blue. Once again, Zachary Lucas in red has got the jump on Jamie White in class D. So David Nye threw on the inside line, had the fastest lap in both races, super recovery in race two. And he's up into third place ahead of Tom Hutchins. Here's the view from Hutchins, his DW Nye teammate, Daniels Motorsport teammate as well. So into the S's and out of the S's for the first time. And uh, a good start. You can see the second commentary position there on the outside line of Old Paddock Bend. And they head down, hammer down in towards Tower Corner, which is where We'll pick them up, they come out hammer down. Now this is the camera position at the corner and side by side for the lead. Harry Gooding in blue and orange. Jamie going around the outside. The two teammates giving each other room. Gooding's going to have the line as they go into Bobby's and takes the lead. David Nye is in third place and challenging around the outside for second. So Daniel's motorsport man getting up in between the two jam sport cars. Tom Hutchins still with Danny Harrison with him as well. So it's Harry Gooding, the championship leader. As you heard in the interviews, didn't realise until after the race that, that he'd won due to that time penalty. So another win for Harry Gooding on home tarmac and looking very good in this one as well to bag yet another win. Jake Dawson in 54 attacking Danny Harrison there in the 18 car. What a physical race it was in race number two. Very tricky conditions. And the drivers, again, as you heard in the interviews, just had to try and work out what either combination of tyres they put on or whether they went totally wet or totally dry. And the conditions did really seemingly improve throughout the course of the race. Ah, Jamie White in green is back in the lead of Class D with Zachary Lucas in second place. Zach still chasing second position in the championship. Side by side here, Harrison on the inside line of Tom Hutchins. Jake Dawson's getting in the mix as well. Dawson really coming into it, this championship, as he gains more experience. And Harrison trying to work his way through, wet or dry. Danny Harrison delivering spectacular racing in spade loads. And these onboard shots really show you how much of a premium overtaking is around here. It's not easy. And the drivers have to work hard. It's, it's completely, it's one thing driving the circuit fast. It's a completely different matter driving fast and trying to affect a pass at the same time. Through goes Ryan Falconbridge, Miles Baker in black with the white bonnet and boot lid on the back of his car. 
quality lineup once again as the lead trio go through. Jamie Going in third, David Nye up into second place. Nye multi-champion, as we've told you many times before. He was Class D champion in 2015, Class C winner last year, Class A champion in 2009. Breaks it going off there, he's trying to, hard to get around the outside of Jamie Going, but he's losing ground, and I think Tim Bennett closing up on him as well, Harry Gooding the clear leader. Jamie Going in second place, where is Nye, losing a fair bit of time at the moment, and could possibly lose out on second position on the timing screen. So, it's Gooding, Going and Nye, one, two and three. Tom Hutchins still in fourth. But Harry Gooding would extend the championship lead. Had a double at Rockingham, a single win at Snetterton, and now makes it a double at Castle Coombe as he exits Bobby's for the last time. Round to Westway, down the Dean Strait. Heading towards Camp Corner. This is Dean Strait now. Obviously bypassing the entry into the pit lane. And around Camp Corner to see the chequered flag. Harry Gooding takes the win in round 14 of the championship. Jamie going second, David Nye will come home in third place. Tom Hutchins is going to be fourth. The next car across the line behind David Nye is Tim Bennett. And it is Tom Hutchins who holds on for fourth position. He's bagging a lot of those this year. Danny Harrison in fifth. Jake Dawson next up from Ryan Falkenbridge. And here's confirmation of the result. Ryan in seventh. Miles Baker, eighth place from Jamie White, who wins Class D. Zach Lucas again second in Class D, then Tim Bennett third in Class, Mark Court wins Class A, Luke Bannister fourth in Class D and Colin Newbold completing the finishers second and in Class A. Fastest lap, David Nye. Uh, second win of the weekend, you didn't have it easy there did you but you kept the lead throughout just? Yeah I was leading the whole race was good, um, David was applying pressure the whole way through the race and he was quicker than me into turn one, I really had to cover it off and um, he nearly got up the inside down the back but managed to hold it around the outside and but yeah then he, I think he had a bit of trouble on the last couple of laps which gave me a gap but yeah it was a really good race, really had to work for it. Jamie well done, second place, another very good result for you and uh right there again weren't you well despite a five second penalty you still came second which isn't bad <laughs> yeah no i had a really good start managed to get away um coming into tower harry just got underneath me a bit and it left it a bit open for david to get me on the second uh, chicane so they got a run and they managed to get away um so i just kept my eye in um, i could see they was tussling so and i felt my pace was good and i felt that the car didn't go away so i knew i still had good pace towards the end of the race um, and fortunately enough, I managed to get past David um, and bring it another one two for me and Harry. So it's great for us as Jam Sport, a brilliant weekend. David, third place. A couple of dramatic moments rather than going to quarry by what I saw, a bit of tyre smoke coming out the back. Break. Yeah, yeah, tried hard. Uh, kept him very honest on right on his tail, but just couldn't quite. If I pushed, I think I'd have pushed him off, so it's right. not much point. And uh, tried very hard up into quarry on the second to last lap, was it or last lap, I forget. And uh, just locked up. Yeah, I tried it on the outside, different line, and uh, didn't like it. Yeah. Again, your triple. That <laughs> must be very pleasing for you. Yeah, good weekend. Yeah, good weekend. Good for the point. So, uh, championships are good. Absolutely. Yeah, well done. And again, for you as well, the triple. Well done. Yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> I just enjoyed going out there. Shame uh, Colin wasn't a bit closer, but it was good fun. Very well done indeed.